Books you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy club. Caroline's on Broadway. It's Mike on the Mic. Looking forward to seeing you there. Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at VHipHopNews.com. No wait, let's go. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go to hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. All right, you see Fat Joe right there, and as you can see scrolling through, you see... Irv Gotti and Ashanti may be asking yourself why. Well, Irv Gotti and Ja Rule were on Drink Champs a couple of days ago. Irv Gotti is always a very entertaining interview. He always just very entertaining. He knows how to drop good content. He was on there. He's talking about Murder, Inc. and the Rise and Fall Murder, Inc. Everything, ups and downs, blah, blah, blah. Got into Ashanti part of the section. And they started going in about their love life, this, that, or the third. Well, Fat Joe... Jumped on his podcast as he typically does or jumps on his phone, whatever you want to call it. And was doing his one too. And he was telling a story about how he and Nori were in the back after Rock the Bells. He had the Drink Champs drone set up, the Drink Champs set set up. And Nori asked him about his thoughts on the Irv Gotti interview. And Fat Joe went all the way in on Irv Gotti. I'm going to play the clip as you can see him in there doing his thing talking right now. I'm going to play the clip. Of what Fat Joe had to exactly say about Irv Gotti. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of what he said. I'm not going to come in on the back end. It's kind of a lengthy video. So y'all go ahead and enjoy. Let me know what y'all think of the video. Tap in. If you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment. You already know the deal. Sam Ant, CEO of the brand. Let's go. And so I'm talking to Nori. And the first thing he tells me. Yo, man, I did drink chance with Irv. You see what he said? I said, yeah, man. Irv Gotti is sucker, man. He is sucker. And so my thing is, versus is versus. Whoever won lost. How long ago was that? How many millions ago was the versus? That's what I want to know. How many M's ago? And I'm not talking crazy to Irv because Irv just closed the deal. You know, God bless him. He's making money. But he tried to take shots at the wrong dude to get his little street cred off of Joe Crack. Don't do that. Okay, don't. We not. Cool. Oh, my God. Your Irv, stop. Right? You're a producer. Um, and so, uh, I'm chilling. Right? We do the show. I try to stay. Willis Sav legend. I try to stay, but I couldn't. I stink at this I'll tell you, I left. I went to Lemon Ice King. Uh -huh. I came straight home and took, you know, when you take one of them, them, them showers that you like half dizzy. My dog, Biz Marquis, he, I guess he missed us so much. He tried to jump in the shower with me. He was doing one of those. Like my dog do the shit. He shake. When he's depressed that you've been gone all day, you come home, he starts shaking. So you go, oh, Biz. Let me rub your balls, Biz. Let me rub your balls. Let me do two jumping jacks. Anything to make this fucking dog happy, right? He's my he's my son, and I love him. And he was doing some bitch ass shit, but I had to go with his shit, rub his fucking balls, his belly, everything to make him happy. Know what I'm saying? And so I'm sitting here today all day. I watch YouTube, whether it was Math Hoffa, whether it was uh, Drink Champs, whatever was the case. Oh, by the way, LL Cool J, with all that shit I'm telling you about it being hot and everything, he performed for two hours straight. Two fucking hours straight. LL Cool J, Cop Diesel, fucking troop suits on, Velour troop. I guess he's in shape, right? It's, it's safe to say. It's safe to say he's in shape. Uh, and so I'm watching this, Drink Champs. Yo, y'all can at Irv Gotti, whoever the fuck you want. 
right? Talking to Joe Crack, guys, if you don't know by now, I doubt you never know me. Um, and so, Ashanti, right? And so, whatever Earth has with Ashanti is 20 years old, right? And so I know he was making some points that mean a lot to him, his heart and soul. But um, when you keep ranting about somebody 20 years later, it felt like he's not over the, the young lady, right? And so also we didn't know that they was fucking, right? Because the whole time, I'm there. What's love? Big pun record on tour. I, mean, I never seen them together like that. Now I'm not saying they wasn't. They was, or there was rumors they was. I never seen it, but I don't need to know. I don't need to know. Right now, it's okay if it's on a documentary. You got to say your truth for your documentary. But to go to Dream Chance and um. Keep calling her a bitch. Keep disrespecting. Um, guys, I'm not going to be the one, you know, I'm not the guy, you know, to uh, stand up for Sean, the brother that, that I'm not. The Jaru was standing right next to him. And so I'm not going to be that guy, right? But, yeah, like I'm not telling stories about a girl I was with 20 years ago. In fact, I hope you die. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone, right? Uh, and so, when you're doing this, it looks, uh, like you caught up, you ain't get over this shit. Even if you, we know you, you have to be, be over it because it's 20 years, right? But on top of that, it just make, and then everything you else, it, 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 it uh, kind of brings less credibility to everything else you say. And uh, let me tell you something. Irv Gotti, he did discover. Irv Gotti did make it a hit. Did shoot the video. Did. Right, I mean the man did it. He's a genius. It's a fact. He signed DMX. He signed Jay-Z. He signed Ja. The man's a genius. He's a genius. There's no question. But. He make himself look crazy. Disrespecting her, and the woman never really disrespected him, right? And so all the shit he's talking and all that, I'm just looking like, damn, bro. And he kept coming back and coming back. And so let me tell you what Herb was saying.